COVID-19 patients, pushing them to near full capacity. What are you hearing from the frontline workers there? Yeah, I mean, we were on an ICU COVID floor in this hospital yesterday, and 10 of the 12 patients were intubated while we were on the floor. Two patients had their lungs collapse, and they had to get chest tubes. The workers on the front line here, many of them are past their breaking points, but somehow they are mustering just enough strength every day to keep going. And then they wake up, they do it again, they try to do it again, they get back in. And for some of them, it has become too much. We met one nurse in the ICU who said she was leaving and going to another department because she just could not watch another person die. They want people in this area to get vaccinated, but many residents here, they're not doing it. Doctors we've spoken to, they blame politics and misinformation on the internet for much of the hesitancy. And some of it's not just hesitancy, it's outright hostility. One doctor we talked to, he said he had a non-COVID patient who he told they should get vaccinated. They're at high risk if they do get sick. And that patient told him that they would rather die than take the vaccine. Listen to more of what we've heard. Every time we see our, these, these young patients rolling in, um, there is a certain level of frustration that we feel. There's a certain level of frustration um, that uh, the nurses feel. You know, some of our nurses have st stopped doing ICU work because of the frustration of dealing with people whom they know could have prevented this from happening. Just having those patients look at you before they're being intubated and begging you to not let them die and just the look in their eyes knowing that they could have done something to help prevent them from getting as bad as they have gotten um, that just it's just heartbreaking amen all right, Allison Barber, live for us there in Mississippi. Thank you, Allison. And turning now to another state seeking or seeing rather a spike in COVID-19 cases.